The city of Baoding in heavily industrialized Hebei province is trying its best to become China's first low carbon city. Baoding's industrial park has created around 20,000 jobs from renewable energy industries. Guan Xin takes a closer look. Baoding has become China's new power valley, attempting to transform itself into a low carbon city and become an industrial base for the production of clean and renewable energy related technology and products. Yingli Solar in Baoding is one of the leading manufacturers of photovoltaic products in China. When it first opened the company, it had 30 employees. Today, the company employs a workforce of around 7,000. With a successful exporting business to the U.S. and Europe, the company was listed on the New York Stock Exchange in 2007, and the following year the total revenue rose to the equivalent of around 1.2 billion U.S. dollars, with profits close to 200 million U.S. dollars. 2009 saw growth reach 91.5 percent over the previous year. We propose the idea of Baoding becoming a low carbon city. It does not mean we can transform ourselves overnight and we are still working towards that goal. China has also surpassed the United States as the world's largest market for wind turbines. And during the past four years, the number of installations has been doubling each year. State-owned Tianwei Wind Power is another alternative energy company that has chosen to base itself in Baoding Industrial Park. At present, the company is only producing 150 units of wind turbines per year, but company executives said there was momentum to produce 1,500 units per year. There is a momentum in the industry for new energies, especially in the past two years, and maybe more with solar. But we have made a significant profit as well. On the way out of the Power Valley lies a hotel with solar panels covering the walls and roof. It was built by Yingli Solar and stands as an example to renewable energy powered by solar energy. China has vowed to develop green, low-carbon and renewable energy as world leaders battle to achieve a global agreement to substantially cut greenhouse gas emissions at Copenhagen. It has promised to slow its carbon emissions, saying it would nearly halve the ratio of pollution to GDP over the next decade. Guan Xing, CCTV.